In this video, we're going to be making area models. Now, we're given what the area inside should be, but we're not given what the length and the width could be. So, we can actually draw multiple different shapes with the same area. As long as it still has the same amount of unit squares inside of it, it can look many different ways, right? It could be a square, it could be a rectangle, it could be a weird shape. As long as there's still the same amount of squares inside, it has the same area. So for this example, it's asking us to make two different shapes, but both with an area of 12 square units. That means 12 of these squares need to be inside my shape, no matter what it looks like. The first example I'm going to make is one that is a quadrilateral. So if I know my total is 12, so my area is 12, and I find area by length times width, length times width, I want to think what two numbers could I use to make 12? There's a few different ones we could use. I'm going to use three and four. I know that three times four gives me 12. So I'm going to make a length of three and a width of four. So I draw down one, two, three, and over one, two, three, four. Of course, that's not a shape. I have to close it. So I'm going to go up three again and over four. Now to check that I have 12 squares inside, I could definitely count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, sweet. Now, that's one way you could do it. Another way would be to count up 12 unit squares and draw our line around that. So I could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12. Now if I draw my line, around all of those with the dot. That has the same area as this quadrilateral. 12 squares, 12 squares. Same area, different shape. 